Hey, hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with Crafting All the Time and today is Monday so you know what that means. It means it is Mass Make Monday and today we're going to make document holders. Um, now these document holders are done, um, I don't know, it's probably pretty standard but I'm doing them sort of with my own twist because of some special paper that I have that I got at a um, uh, like an auction years ago for a printing company that was going out of business. So um, let me show you really quickly what we got going on here and then I'll show you the paper and then we're going to jump right in. So this one will have that there. I'm trying to find my little bulb pins. I'm not sure where I put them when I was cleaning up. So as soon as I locate them, that's going to be hanging on there. But for now, um, so this pocket here is for documents. This is on the top. Um, then on the side, we've got just a little tag pocket. Um, so that's what I've got there. Wasn't real overly happy with this tag. Um, so I probably will change that out later. I don't know. Um, and maybe do something different with that. But anyway, and then I put a little pocket on the front of this one, which wasn't strictly necessary. Um, this one <clears throat> has the same little pocket here for a tag document pocket here. I didn't put the pocket on the front of this one. So that's what we've got. Okay. And now let me show you what I did. Now, these were the first two of these I'd ever made. So I'm still perfecting it a little bit, but we're going to get there. So this is the paper I'm working with. Now you do not have to have a paper like this. Okay. Just a standard eight and a half by 11 light cardstock will do. Um, if you want to cut a rectangle in it, you can. You don't have to. You can just decorate the front of it without having anything there. Um, I'm just using this because I have it. It's been around for years and years. I'd like to use it up. So that's the only reason I'm using this paper. You certainly don't need to. Okay. Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score the paper. And it's going to be scored like this one here. Um, so let me show you. Let me just set that off to the side there. So again, you do not need the rectangle. You just need this to be on an 11 inch side of a eight and a half by 11 cardstock. My hands do not want to work today. Okay, so you're going to come in on this 11 inch side and you're going to score at two and a quarter. I always go over my score marks twice. You certainly don't have to do that. It just helps me to see because my eyes are old. Um, then you're going to flip it all the way around and you're going to go two and a quarter again on this side and four and a half. Also, if you do score it twice like I do, don't press too hard because if you do, you could tear your paper to do that one three times because it looks like I got off on the first one. Okay. That's all we're doing for right now. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Oops, see it did it again. Why is it doing that? I guess I'm getting in a hurry. Two and a quarter and four and a half. Don't get in a hurry. If you get in a hurry, you might make mistakes like I do. I'm doing six of these. Um, that's what I'm going to try and get done during our session. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Alexa, set a one hour timer. One hour, starting now. Okay, there we go. On my mass makes, um, when we get to an hour, I just stop. Um, and we have done what we've done. Um, and then I can do the rest off camera and share it with you. That way we're actually able to see, oh, hey, how much can we get done in an hour? Tomorrow is 10 for Tuesday. I'm very excited about our 10 for Tuesday this week. Um, it's an idea I recently saw on, whose channel did I see it on? Um, oh, actually, yeah, it was Gail Augustinelli's channel. I saw it on. Seems like I see everything on her channel these days. Um, I'm 
but she got it from someone else, and I don't remember who. I'll see if I can locate the video. Um, I don't know. She's got so many videos, but if not, I'll just link her channel for you, and you can check her out. Most of you probably are very familiar with her, but in case you're not... And four and a half. Come on. Four and a half. So here shortly, I'm going to go and meet up with my sister for a few minutes. Um, pick something up from her and take it to my mom. And then um, what else am I doing? Oh, because I'm filming this on Sunday, obviously. Uh, you guys know I try to get it at least the day before. Um, it's not always a success. Sometimes I don't get to film until the actual day that the video goes up. But I'm trying very hard to film at least a day ahead. Excuse me, I needed a drink. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to bring these over here. And I'm going to go ahead and fold them. So, okay. Let me show you how we fold them. So you're going to start at this end that has the two. Okay. So I'm going to fold it in, flip it over, fold it again, and then fold that last one in. So it should look like this on the back, this on the back, and like this on the front. Okay. Now, a lot of people, when they do their document holders, and I... Uh, well, that's kind of an assumption on my part. I assume most people, when they do their document holders, would not have this extra flap. They would cut that off. Um, but I like having that second pocket. So, I'm keeping mine. And once you've scored these, they should fold very easily, very quickly, and without any trouble, okay? So I'm just folding them super, super quick. Don't worry about scoring them right now. Just worry about folding them. Okay, there we go. Now... Set all these off to the side. Okay. Here's where we're at. Okay. Now when I glue this, it's going to glue like this. So I want to run glue here, glue it down there, run glue here and here, and glue that down. Okay. But before I do that... I need to cover my little rectangle. If you don't have the rectangle, this part will not be necessary for you. But I do have, so what you get? I want it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off part of this. Trim it up the side a little bit. Um, I just have a very specific part I want to show, which is the only reason I'm going through all that. Okay, so I've got the image I want. Now I'm just going to come in. And this is more of that paper we were working with the other day when we did the trash to treasure. Um, 
these pages came out of a uh, Ideals magazine, well, several Ideals magazines, spring edition, or um, Easter editions. And um, so I'm just using up the scraps. Although I have a few other pages up there, too, that we didn't use that day that um, I will probably also use. Let's see if I got that right. See, that looks upside down to me. Well, it's not, though. Okay. So that's the way that goes. Now, in addition to gluing that, I'm going to come in with some old washi tape. These are strips that uh, were cut at one time or other and then not used. Um, and so they've been like sitting on my, um, like I, when I do that, I will just uh, tape them up to my, um, no, I will like stick them onto my filing cabinet right beside me and um, then I can use them later. Even if I need to add a little glue to them, I can use them later. So I find that they're coming in handy on this project just to give a little bit of extra support to this. Again, if you don't have the rectangle, you won't need that. Um, but I just want to make sure that that doesn't move. Now, like I said, I've, um, I've already glued it. And this washi's been used, so it's probably not a whole lot of support anyway. But humor me here. So. so that's what we've got. Now, we're going to close this up. This is what we're going to see on the inside. Or I mean on the outside. Really? No, this is right side up. This is up. Okay. Top, bottom. Okay. So, let's go ahead and cover the rest of them, and then we'll come back and we'll glue them. Um, let me see, what do I want to use? I've got some other papers over here I might use. Um, I was looking to see what else I had in the spring stuff that I had had just over here. Um, so I've got several other really pretty papers. Okay. Let's just go ahead and use this I think I think it's tall enough we're gonna see yes it is so let's see how that looks that's pretty okay um, So just as a reminder, um, we're getting very close to my first goal of 100 subscribers. Um, when I looked this morning, I believe I was sitting at 83. Once we reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, and we're going to... Um, all of my subscribers will be entered into a drawing. Um, and then I'm going to give away a sticker book um, I'm going to uh, get from Amazon. I can't say right now which one it's going to be because, as I've said in my other videos, um, I don't know what will actually be in stock um, at the time. I know which one I think it's going to be, but I'm not going to say because in case it's not in stock, I don't want anyone disappointed. So... Um, yeah, that's going to happen very soon, it looks like. So like I said, we're at 83 subscribers now. 
And so you guys are helping me reach my first goal, and I certainly want to express my thanks for that. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to do this giveaway. And I'm excited for it. I hope that you are too. Um, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like what I do here and want to see more, be sure and subscribe so you can be entered in the giveaway. And um, if you know anyone who might be interested in what we do here and they're not subscribed, please share with them. Um, share my channel with them and they can be entered as well. Um, now that's for people in the United States. If you are outside the United States and you are the lucky winner, um, I will most likely, um, I plan to just send a gift card to Amazon through Amazon, um, because, you know, shipping is expensive and I'm sure you nor I either one want to pay for that. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, um, that's my plan for international. If you are the, if you are the winner and you are international, so yes, you can, you will be entered even if you are an international subscriber. Um, I know that's frequently a question. Um, I always feel kind of bad about those of you who are not in the United States who get left out of so many of these things. Um, so. Almost used up my little stash of tape over here. <laughs> of course, it does not necessarily. <coughs> Excuse me. Require an entire strip. I've just been doing that because who knows why? Because I'm crazy. Um, but it does not require an entire strip. You can also, I mean, you can use, if you were doing something like this, you could use just washi tape that you're not a real fan of, that you just want to kind of use up. That works too. Okay. Next. Let's see, what else do I have, ladies and gentlemen? What else do I have? Um, all right, so I've got this one. And this one, that one's got a pretty bird on it. Um, let's go. don't use this one actually I'm gonna hold on to that because I've got another idea for that okay so but we can use this one on either side actually let's go right here and then we'll see which side we like best poking through there we've got this side that's really pretty or we've got this side, which is equally as pretty. So let's just lay this down.
This one got kind of wide, so I'm just going kind of wide. Feeling kind of um, woozy a little bit right now. Don't know what's up with that. But I'm not a big fan. <laughs> that feeling. Not a big fan of that feeling. This is just a little um, wet wipe that's almost dry. And I used it to sop up some ink. Yep, I like that one. All right, next. What have I got done? One, two, three, four, five. Somehow or other, I got seven. I was going to do six, but that's fine too. What the heck? This one, I would kind of like to get that chair in it. We can do that right there, just like that. All right, cool. I'm just only going to do the six of them um, because time could become a factor. If we have time, we'll throw in the seventh one that I've already prepared there. Um, but we're only going to concentrate really on the six. Okay. Sound good. There. I don't care if this is ragged or, um, you know, uneven because nobody's going to see this part. So it doesn't matter. Did I tape that? I did not tape that one. I need to. All right. Close. Okay, we got that. And this one, let's see. I've got some duct tape that I had put up there. I don't really like using it because I have another purpose for it. Um, I put it up there in case I need it for my um, Vagabond journal, um, but I've got plenty more, so it'll be fine. Okay, there's those. Really only need one more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we really just need the one more. Um, let's do something different though. Let's do about the mountains. Um, or I've also got what else have I got? Um, I've got this Africa paper. I've got some butterflies. And I've also got this stuff on this side. Um, let's see. Oh, 
have this. All right, let's just use this. We will just use it. And we'll just decide if we want mountains or like we didn't use this side. Yeah. Sorry about that. The sun popped in. Imagine I should hear from my sister sometime soon as to when she wants to meet up. I have to go drop those off to my mom. Um, yeah. I can't remember if I've already told you or if I just thought I did. And actually, since this is the second time I've tried to film this video, um, I may have told you in the other video. So I can't keep track. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, um, I spoke with my daughter earlier, and um, you, know, she, you know, she likes to tell me about this game. So I'm going to be buying Hogwarts Legacy um, when I'm done here and starting it to download after I get this video uploaded. Um, because I'm not going to want to interrupt the download, which takes forever, apparently. And, um, because apparently it's huge. And so, then I'll be mad because I won't have all kinds of time to play it. Okay. Ooh, we're doing good. We got all those that much done and we still have 36 minutes so we're doing well okay so let's start at the bottom of the stack with the purple one and here's what we do now oops i forgot to put tape on that one hold on let me do that really quickly Make sure this baby don't move. So I've got a little piece of this like cupcake tape we can use right here. Again, it doesn't matter what I use because nobody's going to see that. Okay, here we go. So we want to go to the end with the flap. Okay, fold that flap under. And then I want to put glue. Oh, I almost did the wrong thing. I want to put glue, just a thin line right down here. And I'm going to fold that over like that. Fold that over. Then I'm going to do just a thin line right here. Okay. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if that was in frame. I'm so sorry. I'm going to just hold that for a minute until it catches. Okay, I'm going to set that one to the side. And I'm going to bring in the next one. And we're just going to do all six of them just like that. Make sure that's staying just okay. Um, again, on this side, 
fold that flap under. Line a thin line of glue right down this side. Stick that down. Fold that flap over. Run glue right there and right there. And just get that stuck down. I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing wrong here? This doesn't look right. Now, the question's going to come up, could I stitch this? Yes, you could. Um, the way you would stitch it is largely going to depend on whether or not you have that second pocket. So, um, because you have to be careful about stitching things closed. But yes, you could stitch this. Um, I had originally thought about doing that, but really when I got done, the only thing I would be able to stitch would be along the bottom. And that seemed to me that it would just look a little awkward. So yes, you can stitch it, but just be careful um, as to what you're closing up with your stitching and make sure it's something you wanted closed. Um, I would not be able to stitch um, along the, this top side because that's where my documents go. I wouldn't be able to stitch along this side because that would close up that pocket. There's no point in stitching along this side because this is already closed. So the only thing I would be stitching would be the bottom. Now I could just for aesthetic's sake stitch there, but um, yeah. It just I didn't see that it was worth it and so I'm not doing it but you certainly could Had to scratch my arm and I lost it for a minute. Okay.
I have bad hands, so um, sometimes it's hard for me to uh, do this where I'm uh, trying to hold it, um, you know, trying to smush it. Um, so if you see me like moving my, it's just I my hands are bad. Um, so sometimes I have to shift what part of my hand I'm using. Um, but yeah, just so you know that, you know, that's, that's the method to my crazy madness there. Um, got little pieces of tape and all kinds of stuff stuck to me. And when I have crafting sessions like this, like I've been shaking this glue a lot and doing a lot of smoothing stuff down. Tomorrow my hands will be so sore I'll barely be able to move them. Um, so it's just, uh, I try to be kind to them as much as possible. So enough about my whining about my aches and pains. Jeez. Shut up. Stop whining about your aches and pains, right? But I just wanted to explain why it looks crazy when I do that. Um, okay. All right, there we go. We got that much done. All right, let's bring them all back over here. So this is where we're at at this point. Okay, this is what we should have. The next step is to go to the bottom. So make sure that it is the bottom. And I'm just going to run a very small bead of glue right along this bottom edge inside and then I'm going to use my bone folder and close that up. Now if you're going to stitch you might not need to do this. Um, like I said it's not worth it to me to do the stitching on this one edge. I think it would look awkward for me. Um, I, I don't think I would like the aesthetic of it. Um, but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It just means that for me, it's not a thing I want to do. Um, so that's all I'm doing with them. And I'm going to do all six of them like that real quick. I hope I was in camera. You never know. And then I'll watch the video as I'm editing it. And I'll be like, I was totally off camera that whole time there. There it is. Let's slip that under here. Amazon is still claiming um, that I'm going to have my packages today, and it's Sunday, and I know I'm not, but Alexa's sitting over here just shining at me, telling me my packages are going to be here today. I know my packages aren't coming today. It's Sunday. Has to be the last one um, because I've spent so much money. We got our tax return and I paid some bills and I didn't pay all the bills I intended to pay, um, but I paid several um, bills off and um, 
so then I spent some money <laughs> between getting the carts for my um, craft room that we've talked about um, that I'm using for organizing and the sticker books that I've ordered recently. Um, yeah, I have to stop spending now because you know that's a thing. Eventually you have to say, hey, I've spent enough money. My husband's so sweet, he won't cut me off. He'll just be like, okay, well, if we still have it in the bank, you can spend it. And it's like, well, <laughs> technically, <laughs> we need to save some of that. But when it comes to my art... Um, I am hard pressed to, um, tell myself no. I feel like it's an investment that's worth it. And so I have a hard time cutting myself off. Okay, so we got just a little bit of paper came up on that. I'm going to fix it real quick. I'm just using 220 grit sandpaper. It's the finest sandpaper I have. Um, just to take off some of that. There. Much better. And then the last one. And by the way, if you do that, you have to be so careful because otherwise you will tear a hole in whatever you're putting, using that sandpaper on. Um, so you have to be very careful. one okay I always walk away from my crafting table with that the glue all over my hands I'll be peeling it off like I've got a sunburn like we did when we were kids you know where we put glue all over our hands and then spend all day peeling it off anyway you don't care but I'm just saying like I always walk away like that okay so here's what your envelope should look like at this point okay pocket here pocket here this should be glued in place if you used images on the front you know those could be in place if you're just using solid cardstock and then decorating the fronts afterwards um then you didn't do all that part but that's fine um okay so the next thing that i want to do is i want to bring in i have a one inch circle punch um that i'm going to use if you don't have one you can skip this part or you can uh, cut circles whatever you like i line this up so if you see this line right here um you see this part right here i line the paper up with that and chop and then i'm going to do the same thing on the side i'm going to try and get this about centered in the picture um, if you don't have a picture just try and center it um, on your document holder. I am going through two layers, but mine does it pretty easily. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other five. Now, it used to be that 
and by used to, I mean, I've only been doing this five weeks. Um, I started out not editing at all. And then I started editing everything. And now, um, because of the time it takes for me to edit a video, um, it's just not realistic for me. So, um, there are a couple of things I try to edit out, like if my husband or son comes in the room, talks to me, um, for any length of time, um, if I go on a coughing or sneezing jag, um, or if I just do something totally stupid. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I try to edit those out, but, um, for the most part, these videos are going to come to you unedited. So you may get to hear my son and husband in here talking to me, or you may get to... Anyway, my point to this is that um, I'm not going to speed this up. So feel free to, you know, um, move ahead or hopefully you're crafting along with me. And so you're just, you know... Um, doing your own thing anyway while we're doing it and um, so it's like sitting down and crafting with a friend that's you know that's what I hope y'all are getting from this is like you're sitting down and crafting with a friend because that's what I get out of it um, when I'm sitting here crafting and talking with you I feel like I'm crafting along with a friend um, when I watch someone else's channel, same thing. So I hope that that's what you're getting. And so you don't mind so much, uh, this part that I'm not speeding through. That's my hope. I know when I watch videos, I tend to turn it on my phone or television and I'm doing my crafting while I'm listening to them. So, there we go. All right. So, we've got that much. Next step is to ink these. So, you have a couple options here. We can decorate them and then ink them. Or, we can ink them and then decorate them. Or, we can just ink them and not decorate them. Or whatever we decide we want to do. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to stamp on these. So on both of these, I did some stamping. Um, and I like the way it looks. I think they look a little plain without it. But, okay, let's... Um, I get my script stamp and my archival ink. Guys, I'm terrible about not cleaning my stamps. Um, so, ugh, got ink all over me. going to just leave that like that. Well, maybe I'll put a little bit more there. Okay. 
Um, there's one. So as you can see, I'm not getting overly concerned about getting this perfect. Somebody said it really well um, earlier. I was looking at, um, I was reading through group posts on Facebook. <clears throat> I'm in probably, I don't know, several groups on Facebook for crafting. Um, and someone had said... They had asked the question on one of the groups about, for beginners, what is the one piece of advice we would give them? And uh, this person said, in junk, in junk journaling, um, imperfection is perfection. And I could not agree with that more. I say it over and over and over again. Um, we are not, not, not looking for perfection in this craft. We don't even want it. Um, if it's perfect, it looks like you purchased it from a, uh, factory or something, right? See, see, see how I smeared that? I don't care. Um, and we don't want it to look like that. So. At least I don't. Um, most people that I've spoken to in this craft don't want that um, if you do hey that's great that you do you um, as Sarah Knight would say um, but for me perfection is not what I'm looking for all righty so as I was sitting here stamping on these, I had a thought about something I think I want to try. Um, so I don't know. Um, let's see. I think we'll try it with this one. I'm going to bring in my stamping spots okay so these are i got a whole ton of these with a whole ton of stamps um from a seller on facebook one time this is elegant eggplant and we're never going to know that again because i accidentally tore that um where the name of it's gone 
Hmm. Let me bring in my little hook and see if I can get some where I can open it and then I'll figure out what to do about the name of it. Anyway, um, so a lot of them have never even been opened. So, um, just one more thing I've had laying around for years that I haven't used and I'd like to use them. Okay, I wrote that color on the top, so hopefully we'll remember. Okay. I'm going to just try... We got mm. I'll bring this one over to and this one most of these I've opened. Let's try the orchid opulence. And so what you ask am I doing? <laughs> um, I'm just kind of seeing what we can do with this. Um, let's try some lovely lilac. Now these are all purples, so in a minute, I'm going to bring in the shocking green. We're going to bring in some glorious green. I'm going to just give it a little bit of dusting. Now the idea is that wherever the purple isn't, the green is going to kind of shine through, right? And we can still see some of this um, text stamping under it. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, at this point I'm just playing. Um, I showed you guys how to do the basic document holder. We've done that. Then now we're in the decorating stage and I only have four minutes. So at this point, I am just playing with it. And we'll see what we think here in a minute. And then I've got some gable green. Gable green has not been opened yet. I think it's pretty. Um, so we're going to... don't know if it needs anything else. I'm going to think about it. All right. So we are at two and a half minutes. Um, that's not very much time to do anything else, but let's just pull this over here and take a look. If we come in with some vintage photo at what it looks like, shall we? And it'll be about time for me to leave to go and meet up with my sister here in just a second anyway. So I imagine she'll be calling me any minute now.
Um, so I like it too with just the, um, with just the inking around the edges. That's nice too. So however you decide you want to do it will work just fine. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you'll come back and join me again soon for another video. Um, if you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell too, then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Remember that when you subscribe, you will be automatically entered into the drawing for our first giveaway, which hopefully will be coming up in the next week or so. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.